Okay, let's discover the secret of hard drive failure. Not all hard drive failure, but let's say about 95%. As I told you in a prior video, I actually made a video like about a year ago. Now here's an external hard drive. This one is Thunderbolt, but it's the same thing. It still has a SATA bridge in there. What's the SATA bridge? It's actually a connector bridge. It's kind of like the tires in your car, which is the first thing to go in a car, right? All things being equal, it's the tires. Well, imagine if uh, someone had a nice car and they wore the tires out and they thought the entire car was defective because the tires had worn out. And then they threw the, the car, the entire car, in the trash. Countless tens of thousands of hard drives every year are tossed into the trash because of this little disconnectable piece called the SATA bridge. Now, I made a video about a year ago. I've had countless thousands of people like that contact me go, oh my god, you saved my bacon. I'm going to give you a link to this article that I wrote for Apple. This little card is the failure. Let's call it the tires on the car, if you will. It's a major uh, failure point. It is basically responsible for 95% of hard drive deaths, external hard drive. And, but they're not dead. They work perfectly fine. It's that this card has failed. This is also another reason why I use uh, hard drive docks. Certainly this is not very portable. I'll still use external hard drives like this, but I know what the failure point is. And I have lots of redundancy. But, you know, all these people, if they think their hard drive is dead, like, well, it won't boot, it won't do anything, it's dead, I mean, my data's lost. It's like, no, it's perfectly fine. So I pull their uh, bacon out of the fire, if you will. This is another reason why I use naked hard drives. Go naked, right? Yeah, naked. And uh, save their data. It's this little SATA bridge. All of these hard drives, whether it's three and a half inch external, whether it's a two and a half inch external, these are my pictures, by the way, I took for Apple. This is a SATA bridge. This is a naked hard drive, three and a half inch, a big honker with a SATA bridge. This is the anchor, which, of course, you need external power. You can't actually have the power to drive a three and a half inch externally like you can via the, the power that's fed from USB to a two and a half inch drive. This is a... Uh, this is a two and a half inch drive. So this is a three and a half inch drive. It needs external power. But uh, this is an empty case that you can get like Best Buy. And these really suck, by the way. You never want to use these because the SATA bridges on these are very prone to failure. I mean, they just like die overnight. But if you want to uh, save your data, you know, you could use it temporarily to retrieve the data. You know, they're cheap Chinese junk for 25 bucks. But here's a uh, clear hard drive. If every external hard drive were transparent, this is what you'd see. You see the hard drive and you see the SATA bridge card right here. And this is the failure point. This is the choke point uh, for your data um, to be, uh, you know, you, to assume, to make you think that it's lost, but it's not lost at all. This is, like I said, another reason why I use naked hard drives and hard drive docks. They're cheaper, they're more reliable, you know. There's nothing to fail here. I've got the naked drive, and i got my uh, hard drive dock. These are 40 bucks on eBay. Everybody should have one of these, especially for cloning your system, to make a bootable clone. I'm not talking about data backups or data archives. I'm talking about a bootable system clone. BSC, bootable system clone. In other words, it's a complete... I've got a solid-state drive in this, but it doesn't matter if it's a solid-state drive or a hard drive, as long as it's a bootable clone. So it doesn't make any difference. Um, but yeah, this is what you'll see on the inside of every hard drive. That hard drive and that SATA bridge card. And literally landfills are full of hundreds of thousands of perfectly working hard drives that were thrown away because of this little damn SATA bridge card. Um, this is actually, if you were to tear open a three and a half inch hard drive, this is what you would see. This is a SATA bridge on a three and a half. It's the only difference being is that USBs receive their power through the USB cable. Whereas the three and a half inch needs external power. So it's still a SATA bridge card. It's still the failure point. Uh, <clears throat> here's a replacement one. Everybody should have one of these. I've got a, uh, got a few of them. It is an anchor. Uh, it'll actually uh, feed uh, either a two and a half inch or a three and a half uh, inch hard drive. You only use the external power for a three and a half inch hard drive, of course. Um, <clears throat> but all of these little cards right here, these are SATA bridge cards. They're about the size of a pack of gum. And uh, that is what makes people think that they're hard. Yeah, literally thousands of people like, oh my God, you, you saved my bacon. You know, my data isn't lost. But you should always have multiple redundancies anyway.
But it is the case that 90, 95% of these dead external hard drives are not dead at all. It's that damn SATA bridge card. It's that damn evil part right here. Here's a larger one. They're usually smaller than this compared to a penny. It's a picture I took. Here's the USB connector on one side, and here's the SATA 3 uh, drive connector. And it just unplugs like Legos. You know, Helen, Helen Keller could do this operation. Uh, now, these are usually sealed. you got to crack them open like a clamshell. Sometimes you got to stick a blade in there, and, you know, you pry them open. And you'll end up destroying the casing on it. And so what? It's kind of an ugly procedure in most cases. But, you know, you crack it open, you remove the hard drive, you get a dock like this. Everybody should have a hard drive dock, quite frankly. I've got more than a few of them. And uh, this will save your bacon. This is the secret of hard drive. Anyway, I've got this article. You can read all the specifics that I wrote for Apple. It says your dead external hard drive is likely fine. Great fault for your, great hope for your faulty external hard drive. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, and drop me a buck or two. I've saved a lot of people's bacon on this and really my article and uh, my video is it's basically it's basically almost the only one out there other people mention this but this is so incredibly common I mean when you're talking about 95 percent of assumed dead hard drives I mean that's a lot how come there aren't more people making videos and articles about stuff like this like I do doesn't make any sense anyway thanks for watching bye